this particular event has been organized with much hard work and great skills by Mary Louise Aitken. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank her. <laughs> Oxford University has many traditions extending back over centuries of which we are justly proud. We are gathered here today to celebrate two of those traditions. The first tradition is that of teaching and studying Arabic language and literature. This has been going on since 1636 when William Lord, Archbishop of Canterbury and well, Chancellor of Oxford University, endowed a chair in Arabic and bought a collection of Arabic manuscripts for the Bodleian Library. In his honor, the new chair was named the Lodian Chair of Arabic. Since its foundation in the 17th century, the Chair of Arabic has been filled virtually continuously. There have been 16 professors of Arabic in the They include among that number some of the most distinguished and eminent scholars ever to have devoted themselves to the study of Arabic language. We are honored to have the 13th holder of the chair, Professor Wilfred Madelon, with us today. Unfortunately, the current holder of the chair, Professor Julia Bray, could not be with us owing to other commitments, but I'm sure she's with us in spirit. In the years since the foundation of the chair, there have been many changes in how Arabic language and literature are taught at this university. It is no longer only the language and literature that can be studied. Now it's possible for students to learn about the religion, the history, the economy, and sociology of Arabic-speaking peoples as well. In addition, one can study the art and material culture of Islamic countries. And even Arabic language cinema. So now students can learn about the wider context. Nevertheless, the chair of Arabic remains one of the pillars on which our faculty rests. And one of the most important chairs in the humanities at Oxford. So this is a first tradition that we celebrate today. Teaching and studying Arabic language and literature. But the second tradition is equally important. 
This is the tradition of honoring those who through their generosity help us to continue with teaching and study of As I noted earlier, 380 years ago, when the chair of Arabic was first endowed, it was named the Lodian chair. In recognition of the generosity of the donor who made it possible, Archbishop Lord. But today, his original benefaction can only pay for a very small part of the costs of the place. To ensure the permanent survival of the chair, what was needed was a new donor to re-endow it. And we are very fortunate to have found such a donor in the person of Mr. Abdul Aziz Saud al Baptain. There are many reasons why it is appropriate for Mr. al Baptain to be the one who has preserved our chair of Arabic. He has dedicated his life to the promotion of the Arabic language and literature. He is himself a poet who has published two collections of original poetry. In 2002, he established the Al Babtain Central Library for Arabic Poetry in Kuwait. In a magnificent building open to both scholars and the general public. He has created the Saud al Babtain Kuwaiti Scholarship for postgraduate studies. Which since 1974 has funded over 8,000 students. To pursue undergraduate and graduate study. He founded the Abdul Aziz al Babtain Center for Dialogue Among Civilizations to coordinate the work of four professorial posts, established in Spanish universities to promote innovative scholarship an exchange with universities in the Middle East. Here at Oxford, in 2015, Mr. al convened the 15th session of the Abdul Aziz Saud al Cultural Foundation. In partnership with Oxford's Middle East Center and the United Nations Alliance of Civilization. The conference brought heads of state diplomats, <coughs> policy makers, <coughs> journalists and academics from across the Middle East and Europe for an extraordinary exchange. In June of this year, Mr. al Babtain returned to Oxford to award MIT Professor Noam Chomsky the gold medal of the Abdul Aziz 
Saud al Babtain Cultural Foundation. <coughs> the visit was celebrated with a tree planting at the Middle East Center. And, and during reflection of the deep friendship binding Oxford and Mr. Al Babtain. So his re endowment of the Arabic chair at this university is one of a long series of generous benefactions. In recognition of Mr. Al Babtain's <coughs> philanthropy, <coughs> the chair of Arabic at this university <coughs> has now been officially renamed <coughs> the Abdulaziz Saud Al Babtain Laudian Chair in Arabic. <coughs> adding his name to that of the original donor. The new name pays public tribute to his role in promoting Arabic language and literature here at Oxford. Thanks to him, these two great traditions are not only continued, but renewed and enhanced as well. As a result, Mr. Al Babtain is now an integral part of these great Oxford traditions. When Archbishop Lord established the Chair of Arabic, the university wrote to thank him, saying that he had unlocked the learning of the regions where Arabic was spoken. And this seems highly significant to me. People here at Oxford are notorious for thinking that they know everything. <laughs> Already in the 17th century, we have the university acknowledging that those in the West can learn something from speakers and writers of Arabic. In other words, dialogue and exchange between the two cultures are important. Mr. al Babtain has long recognized this fact and has worked tirelessly to promote such dialogue and exchange. One might envisage him and Archbishop Lord as partners in a common enterprise. Separated in time by centuries, but united in a common purpose. Tonight, the university will express its gratitude to Mr. Al Babtain. For his efforts on its behalf. By inducting him into the Chancellor's Court of Benefactors. But this afternoon, it is appropriate that we as a faculty thank him publicly 
for his efforts on our behalf <laughs> as well. As a concrete symbol of our gratitude to Mr. Al Babtain. The Faculty of Oriental Studies has commissioned a plaque. This will be displayed permanently on the wall of the entrance foyer of our building. سوف يتم عرض هذه اللوحة وبشكل دائم إلى الأبد في هذه الصالة هنا في هذا المبنى. So on behalf of the entire faculty of Oriental Studies. نيابة عن كامل كلية الدراسات الشرقية. I would like to say we are very grateful. أريد أن أقول أننا شاكرون جدا. Many thanks. شكرا كثيرا. شكرا. And now at this time I'd like to invite. Mr. Al-Bakhtain to unveil the plaque. For those of you standing in the back, I will just read the inscription. It has the seal of the university and it says, in celebration of the Lodian chair in Arabic. Founded in 1636 by William Lord, Archbishop of Canterbury and uh, Chancellor of the University of Oxford. Uh, Re endowed in 2016 <coughs> uh, through the generous support of Abdulaziz Saud al Baltain. Poet and philanthropist of Kuwait. In whose honor the chair has been renamed. The Abdulaziz Saud al Baghtain Lodian Chair in Arabic. Fifteenth of September two thousand and sixteen. And now I'd like to invite Mr. al to say a few words himself. Sir, you speak too much, and you want me a few words? <laughs> Good afternoon for all of you. I'm very happy to be here among you. I'm extremely happy to be here among you. افتتاح هذه الفكرة التي أتمنى مخلص أنها فعلا ستستمر نحن عملنا على تقوية اللغة العربية في عدة جامعات in a number of من جامعة فلوريدا، among them the University of Florida، Missouri، Missouri، Michigan and Arbor، Michigan and Arbor، وكذلك في إسبانيا مع خمس جامعات، as in Spain with five different universities، وفي أفريقيا، and in Africa، وفي سبعة وخمسين جامعة عربية وأجنبية، and in another fifty-seven Arab and foreign universities. كذلك عملنا للمرشدين السياحيين في الأندلس في إسبانيا عدة دورات وكل دورة مدتها سبعة شهور لتغيير ما فهموه عن التاريخ العربي والمسلم كذلك عملنا دورات ثقافية also held في عدة مناطق في الوطن العربي cultural sessions in the Arab world and outside the Arab world في خرطبة وفي باريس 
في الكوردوبا في باريس وفي البوسنة والهرسك في البوسنة والهرسك وفي مقر البرلمان الاتحاد الأوروبي عن إنتهاء كوارتر في الأوروبي والآخر لقاء كان مع جامعة أكسفورد في أكتوبر الماضي meeting was with the University of Oxford last October أنا حقيقة عندما تبرعنا بإسناد Indeed, when we gave our support to the hands, the endowment, للمرحوم لو 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 دا for the late Professor Lord. لما كنا تصور قيمة هذا الكرسي. I did not envisage the value, the value of this great chair. آخر ما تبرحنا من مدة ثلاث شهور لإسناد جامعة برشلونة. The last endowment we gave was three months ago to the University of Barcelona and their Arabic department. للحصول على الماجستير وباللغة العربية. And that is to finance the degree of Master of Arts in. وقالوا لنا في الجامعة at that university. إنه هذا أول عربي يتبرع في إسناد اللغة العربية في أوروبا. This is the first Arab to give their support to the cause of Arabic language teaching and learning in Europe. لكنني أعتبر وبكل تواضع. However, I consider and in a very humble kind of way. وبصدق. And honestly. إنه هذا العمل الذي نقوم به اليوم في جامعة أكسفورد. Today here in the University of Oxford. والعتيقة. University of Oxford. أعتبر التتويج لكل الأعمال التي قمنا بها. I see it as a crowning of all what we did before. دائما وهذا ليس كلام للامتنان. Always and I'm not saying. دائما لكبرت. دائما الكويت سباقة في عمل الخير. Has always been at the forefront. في كل أنحاء العالم. All over the world. سواء على المستوى الشعبي أو المستوى الحكومي. Be it on the popular level or on government level. <تصفيق> شكرا لكم وارجو ان تكون في ويرز For four centuries now, the Laudian Chair of Arabic has provided a platform for Oxford to teach Arabic language and culture to some of the brightest students of Europe. This has been a bridge of mutual understanding between Europe and the Arab world. By re-establishing this chair in the name not just of its first founder, but of Saud Abdelaziz Saud al Babtain, the second founder of this chair, it now really represents the bridge between our two cultures and our two civilizations, and it will enable us in Oxford to continue this important work of training the next generation of Arabists for centuries to come. It's the one of the two oldest chairs of Arabic in the country, and it's a. Uh, it's always been a very important symbol of Arabic studies in the UK. Um, you know, the fact it has existed so long is testament to the uh, uh, importance of Arabic in the humanities in the country, not just in Oxford, um, because there are about 12 universities in the UK where Arabic is studied. Um, perhaps Oxford is one of the preeminent ones, and this is probably the preeminent chair. So it has a, a representational. Uh, importance. It's like a symbol of Arabic studies in the UK. Well, I mean, obviously it's, uh, you know, one doesn't have to look very far in today's world to, um, to appreciate the importance of dialogue uh, between uh, the Arabic-speaking world, the Islamic world, uh, and the West. So uh, I think the, the case for, for the importance of that dialogue and that understanding across civilizations is, is, is clear and obvious. And um, I'm, I'm aware of Mr. Al-Babtain's role in that. You know, obviously his, in, his, his endowment or re-endowment of this chair uh, contributes to it. But here in Oxford earlier uh, this year and last year, we had direct experience of his, of his work in promoting dialogue. And we know quite a lot about everything that he's done in other countries, in Spain and in, and in the Middle East uh, in pursuit of that goal. So it's one that we very much share here in the university. Universities, of course, are all about uh, being places where people exchange ideas, talk to each other, seek to understand each other and to understand different viewpoints and different uh, cultural perspectives. 
So we see this as being something that is entirely in harmony with what we are trying to do in the university and it's something that we are very, very happy to be able to, to work with him on and to uh, have his support for uh, in our own work. I think there's a, a, a long tradition of philanthropy and this is true philanthropy rooted in a love and a passion and an interest for, for people. Um, underpinning the work of academic institutions. That's as important today as it ever has been and this kind of support is absolutely crucial for the work that universities do and we're extremely grateful to visionary benefactors like Mr Albab Tame for making that possible.